Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial for beginners and this is our part 9 of this video session series in which we will discuss about CRUD operations using basic auth plugin. So guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to make the clear vision about WordPress JS and REST API tutorial. So in our last video session guys, if you have remembered then we have listed our WordPress post using basic auth settings. Okay, as well as we had seen that how can we means install or apply the basic setting rules for our basic auth plugin. Okay, and also we have seen that how can we list the post section using Postman. Okay, so in this video session guys, we are going to create a post, read a post, update a post as well as delete a post. Okay, means basic operations of a CRUD. Okay, so how can we achieve that? So basically to achieve these operations guys, actually we have a link and right here. Okay, I will provide this link into the description section of this video. Okay, please go through this link. So now if you want to create any WordPress post, basically a WordPress post table has the basic set of schema like it contains date, date underscore GMT, GUID, ID, link and so on. These are the columns actually a post table contains. If we go to the WP post table, so just go to PHP my admin. So this is the table just click on that. And now click on a structure so we can see that it contains multiple columns as you can see total 23 columns it contains so basically these columns actually are listed right here okay where it explains about the schema of WP post table so just scroll down now you can see that if you want to list post means if you want to get all listed posts that we have created in this section if you want to retrieve these via postman then we need to set the basic sets of arguments okay so far in our last video session we had seen that how can we list our wordpress post okay so let's see once more about the list of these products okay first of all we need to set the get request method type as well as we need to set the URL section okay to set the URL section just go to website this is the URL that we have to copy so just make copy of that go to postman and paste here we need to replace the domain name right here okay so just go to browser and this is the section that we have to copy from here okay so just copy this and replace with this okay so http localhost rest api wp json wp v2 and the post okay so this is the url that we have to supply and the now the next thing is that under the section of authorization we need to select basic auth okay where we had to pass the username and the password okay so the username and password of this wordpress setup is admin and admin so just we need to pass admin and admin okay so now after setting the authorization section just go to header section and now we need to pass the base64 encoded username and the password value under the authorization as a key okay so this is the authorization key we need to set under the header section okay and here we need to pass under the value section we need to pass the base64 encoded value of username and the password okay so just go to browser php fiddle and we need to write basic concatenated with the base64 encoded value of username and the password of our administrator panel so if we run this code so basically this is the base64 encoded value as we can see just go to code space the code is right here just click on run f9 and this is the base64 encoded value of each admin and admin okay so just make copy of all these things just make copy go to postman and pass all these things in the value section of this authorization just pass that so now by using get method type this is the URL section we need to set the authorization section for username and the password and under the header section we need to pass the authorization key so just click on send button so this is 
actually listed all of our WordPress posts. So basically, this is the WordPress setup which contains three basic posts. Okay, so it returns the three JSON object. So if you click on the first one, then just scroll down. So this is the first post. Post actually it has returned that is sample taste article updated. If you go to browser, so this is the post as we can see. So basically, this is our first part where actually we had seen how can we list all of our WordPress posts. So now, if you want to read a particular specific pro means post from this list, okay. If you want to study about the particular post, so just click on Add it. If you want to get all the details of a specific post via Postman, then how can we achieve that? We need to pass the ID of this post in this parameter okay right in the url section so just write slash after slash we need to check that the id of our post so just click on sample test article 1 as we can see that in the url section this is post id 12 okay so if you want to retrieve the details of this article post so we need to pass the 12 id of this post to the url so just write 12 click on send so now this is the detail of a single article as we can see this is the detail of a single post and we can achieve bypassing the id of that post in the url okay so basically guys this is the read operation of our crud operation okay so now let's get started about how can we create a wordpress post by using this postman setup so just go to browser again go to this website just scroll down so now we can see that how can we create a post to create a post we need to basically pass the post method type this is the url and now these are the parameters actually we need to specify to create a post not all these parameters are actually required all these parameters are also optional okay so how can we create a post so just go to postman again let's copy this url from this section click on plus icon to add a new route so just change this method type to post okay we need to set the authorization section of our headers and footer section so just choose basic auth here is username and the password so let's say admin admin under her header sections we need to set the authorization key okay and the authorization key if we just make copy from our last operation so this is the base 64 encoded value so just make copy of that and paste within this value section okay also if you want to create a post so we need to pass some extra parameters like title content and the several parameters that we have seen under this create a post section we need to pass these parameters under the body section and within this form data so let's say that we need to create a post so just we are going to pass the key as a title so just make copy of this title paste here and let's say that we are we have actually created okay so this is the and the second parameter we need to set something called title so just make copy of this key go to postman paste it here and let's say that this is our test post content okay so this is the second parameter i have passed and then now the next parameter we need to supply about the status of our created post so if we scroll down so basically if we will not set any status property to this created post then basically it will create a draft to this all post sections okay so if you are not passing a status property right here so just click on send as we can see that the post has been created to our wordpress setup with id 26 okay so if we go to browser just refresh this page so we can see that our post has been created but it will actually save into the draft section okay so just click on this edit we can see that this is the title that we have passed this is the content that we have to pass okay so what actually we need to pass to make it as a published post okay so just go to postman we need to pass status equal to publish 
okay status equal to publish we need to pass in this parameter also so basically bypassing this parameter it actually post our wordpress post as a published post okay so let's say that we have created our first post okay so just click on send we have created another post with id 27 so just go to browser again just refresh this page click on all post so this is the post that we have created with published status okay so successfully guys we had seen that how can we create a post with the postman and the basic or settings okay so we had seen about the c and the r c means create r means read so let's see about the update option of this CRUD operation again go to browser this is the website that we need to follow just scroll down and now if we want to update a post then we need to pass these parameters with this route okay so first of all we need to set the method type should be post so just go to postman click on plus icon again let's make copy of this URL just copy of that paste it here we need to set post okay as well as under the authorization section we need to set the basic auth admin and the admin as username password okay under the header section we need to pass the authorization key so just authorization key I'm going to copy from this header okay so just make copy of that and paste within this authorization key okay so to update a post what we have to follow instead of these parameters we need to pass a id of post id as you can see into the url section okay we need to pass the post id okay let's actually i have zoomed the web page so to update a post actually we need to pass a extra parameter to the url section okay as we can see this is the url and we need to pass the post id okay so just go to wordpress post so if we want to update this post click on edit so this is the id id number 27 that we have created okay so we want to update this post so just make copy of this id go to postman and pass this id into the url of this route that is 27 okay means we are going to update the id of post id 27 we are going to update this post okay so now apart from the post id what we actually we have to pass the extra parameters and the extra parameters that like that if you want to update any post that is title content author and so on so we need to pass these parameters into the body section within form data okay so let's say the title equal to new title we have assigned okay and let's say that content this is our updated content okay so let's make setting of these actually not visible too much actually I have given 20 so it's okay okay so these are the parameters actually we need to pass with this post ID because we want that we are going to update the post ID of 27 with these titles and content okay so just click on send so now our post has been updated okay so if you go to browser again just refresh this page so as we can see that new title we have assigned and this is our post test content so these are the things that we have actually assigned via postman bypassing this id okay so this is the very basic simple steps guys that how can we update our post okay so also we have seen about the update operation of this crud operation so let's see about the delete operation of this CRUD operation okay so just go to browser again just refresh this page or scroll down as we can see that if you want to delete a post we need to set the method type should be delete okay and this is the URL with post ID okay so just go to postman click on this plus icon so just make copy of this URL I am going to copy just make copy paste here remove this id and now win to set the method type should be delete delete as we have selected now we need to pass the post id actually what post we are going to delete 
okay so just click on all post we want to delete this draft post click on this edit icon we need to pass the post id 26 into the url section okay so just go to postman again we need to pass 26 id actually we are going to delete okay we need to set the authorization key instead of no auth let's say basic auth okay also we need to copy this uh, base 64 encoded value so just make copy of that go to this route let's say under the header section authorization and this is the value okay so now what we actually we have to go do we are going to delete the post id of 26 with these settings okay so just click on send now we can see that just scroll down about these details we can see that our post has been deleted and it has moved within the trash section okay so just go to browser refresh this page as we can see post does not exist it's because we have moved the post into the trash section okay if we refresh this page no more exists about the draft section if you click on the trash then this is we have created post moved from publish section to the trash section okay so basically guys we have seen that how can we create a post delete a post as well as list a post and now all the sections we have covered of this video session okay so all the basic operations of this cloud operation guys we have seen and now i actually pass this url to guide yourself to make all these operations successfully okay so just i'm going to copy this url and paste inside this video section okay so this is the url that actually it will guide us to how can we operate ourselves about these operations okay so successfully guys i think that i have made much more clear concept about the basic auth plugin settings with the crowd operations using postman so in the next video session guys we will see that how can we create post read post update post delete post not by using postman by using php files okay how can we operate those things using php files not using postman okay so successfully guys we have seen about these operations so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day